the whistle. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Iowa State, a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and you, know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Seven yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. Feeds it to the back. Gets out to around the 45. Nice blocking on the counter, and he was able to pick up around eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 34. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. That's a good one. That brings up second and nine. Quick throw out to the receiver. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18. Three down, three down. 31 for Mike. go. The 10. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. Touchdown, Cyclones. And he adds the extra point. It was an eight-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Shoved out at the 38-yard line. Good-looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 25. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the six. From the two-yard line, second down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the mic. They go. Touchdown, Touchdown, Mountaineers. Touchdown. 
They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 75 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Pitches, and he's got room. He's tackled in the open field. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Tackle around the 44-yard line. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. He might not be able to get the pass off. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to lead that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Steps out at the 29. Oh, and big hit there to stop it. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. made right around the 26 yard line well you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run fourth down and watch out they're gonna bring the heat right here they get this one off and it's a beauty <laughs> The Cyclones are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for them. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game. And if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. Iowa State has a three-point lead. Fires out to his wideout. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. And 
they make the stop at the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. So at the end of one quarter, Iowa State in front, 10-7. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. 27 Mike, 27 Mike, Mike 27. All day, punt. Three down. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. down and they need to get it down to the 35. Nice grab on the play. And he's tackled at the 14. First down. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Iowa State is up by three. And he's level at the six-yard line. That's good for me. Touchdown, Iowa State. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 66 yard drive. That's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 41. Quick throw. Excellent open field tackle. job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Sets up the screen. Tailback's got it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Number 93 takes him down behind the line to the 39-yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's hit and taken down. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Three 
Throws it out there. In the air. It's intercepted. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Shoved out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Zips it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 16. First and goal. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 33-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. On the run, right side. Iowa State's going to use their first time out of the half here. They're about four yards away here on second down. Iowa State holds a field goal lead. West Virginia will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. That makes it first and ten. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws it deep. Got him. Has some daylight. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. 
Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. From their own 28-yard line, third down. We all knew. My 52, my 52. Go! And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The Cyclones are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. They come out in an empty backfield. Going long. Can't connect. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Aaron and out ball. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 33. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. He's tackled at the 48. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And he can't get away from the pressure. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy. Touchdown, Mountaineers. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wow, Kirk, this is just an old-fashioned shootout. This is fun. Boy, they're going up and down this field. It almost has the feel that whoever has the football last is going to end up being the winner. 
They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. Iowa State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 36-yard line. First down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings him second to go. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. That's incomplete. We played a half of football. The Cyclones in front, 31-21. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This first half not going to go on either defensive coordinator's resume reel. For sure, they're not sending this out and saying, hire me, because they couldn't stop anything. We always talk about adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustment can you really make? Is this more X and O, or is this more effort, attitude, and, and getting a little nasty? Well, the first adjustment you make, Reese, is tearing the game plan up, because that didn't work. I mean, we're going we're gonna to have to find some new defenses. You always come into the week and come into that game, and you think you have a plan to, to stop a designed offense. It's not working. you got to do something a little bit different this second half. They, they, they planned all week. They didn't plan properly. they got to find some new ways to, to put pressure on the quarterback and make things happen on defense. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Steps up in the pocket. He fires. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. Three and outs are quite simply momentum killers. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They'll drop in for a loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 27. He's to the 40, completes it across the middle. Number 25 makes the set goal at the 42-yard line. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Check three. Check three. Makes it to the 47. 
Game of 11 yards. First down. Roger, Roger. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Watch the run, watch the alert. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 21 yard line. That makes it first and ten. He goes out of bounds at the 19. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Ready? They'll get him for a loss. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They didn't pick up the first down, but they went from third and very long to fourth and a lot less. Those yards can make a difference in the field position game. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And he stops short of the first down. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He airs it out. The defender had it and then dropped it. From their own 12-yard line, it's second down. Gets it, he's in space. They'll bring him down at the 28. Well, I'll tell you something. Confidence can easily turn into cockiness, which is not always going to serve a quarterback very well. He got away with it that time, but he needs to be much more careful. Throws a strike over the middle, and he's tackled around the 21-yard line. Unloads it. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Number nine, the intended receiver. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Roger, Roger. Check 13. He fights forward to about the 20. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Quick pass. And down he goes at the nine-yard line. Tackle at the two-yard line. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and it allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Cyclones have certainly had their opportunities to put this thing away. I don't think they can uh, say they haven't, but they haven't been able to do it. Well, it's just sloppy execution on offense. You know, whether they're turning the ball over or they're, or they're being forced to punt, this is just not an offense right now in rhythm. And they have, they've blown their opportunities, and now they've got to hold on and hope that they can get out of here with a win. Makes it to the 37. Iowa State is up by three. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. complete. He's got space to work. Brought down at the 44. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And they push him out at the 29-yard line. That brings him second and five. Iowa State has a three-point lead. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. First down. Three down, three down. He makes his way out to about the 12. Great display of offense by both teams so far. As we head to the fourth, 31-28, Cyclone. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Touchdown, Iowa State! Converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. This is where you always hear that saying, the big time players make big plays in big games. And this is where somebody on this offense needs to step up and be that big time player. They'll spread the field with five wide. Complete. It's the junior. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From their own 30-yard line. Third down. He's 
tackled at about the 49. Taken down at the 39. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. And that time, he paid for being a step behind the receiver. And he's level at the 43-yard line. That is a loss of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. Third down again. Watch Mike, watch Mike. <laughs> Quick throw, and he's taken down around the 42-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52's the mic. Roger, Roger. And he tackles him hard at the 38. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a team in four on the play. That makes it seven and six. Mike 52, Mike 52. And he's going to be sacked. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. It's third down and 14 yards to go now after that setback by the sack. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He steps up, and he throws right away. What a play, and that is first and goal. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He fights forward to about the 23. After a decent run up the gut, the Mountaineers taking their first time out of the half. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They bring him down in the backfield. They swallow that one up. That option play lost about a yard. West Virginia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking, and it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. The stats might get padded even more in this series, but it won't be enough to make up the difference. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. 
Wants to go long and does. To the 10, and he got it to the sophomore. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him on the first and goal. Well, the last time down here they threw an interception. They'd like to erase that memory. Joseph moves and he's in. Rushing touchdown makes it a one score game. That was a huge play. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. Brought down by the kicker. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's tackled after positive yardage. West Virginia will take their final timeout. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. the middle and he stuck. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight that might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game they call on the kicker for a long field goal under a minute left in the game kicks away no good he hooked it right Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Going long. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. He's going to air it long through his hands. Defense coming and the ball comes out. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. He lets it fly. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. And he stops the clock with a spike. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the seven-yard line. He goes out of bounds at about the five-yard line. That'll be a two-yard gain. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. The kick is away.
Oklahoma State's going to use their first time out of the half here. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. He airs it out. The senior makes the catch. He's all the way. Touchdown. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, offense. Iowa State, up six. He makes the PAT. And that should do it, our final tally in this one. Iowa State, 45, West Virginia, 38. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.